Beautiful singing voice and a wonderful expressive personality. Thank you. Which is great. And this is a song you haven't done before, and I asked you to do it because it's a companion to the next one, and mm -hmm. I wanted to, to, to. But you're doing a beautiful job. There's not enough drama in this performance. Okay. We don't know enough. It sounds beautiful, people get lost in the emotion, but it isn't clear what's happening. So the first thing is that we get is the softest possible sound you can hear on a piano. A, a, a B flat so soft that it's almost inaudible. Let's yeah. have that first. Good, that's beautiful. Can I suggest you put your finger on the edge of the keys, right on the edge here, you know, and play it like this, and you can get it even softer. Now, that sense, a sense of wonder, a sense of amazement, what on earth is going to happen? That's what those two B-flats are saying. And then, in the softest possible way, you sing, I stood in a dark dream and stared at her picture, probably in a brooch, something like that. I stood in a dark dream and stared at her picture. Now I want you to notice that when I say that, I say it in two, not in four. Mm -hmm. I stood in a dream, I stood in a dark dream and stared at her picture. Mm -hmm. What you're singing is, I stood in a dark dream, yeah. uh, the in four, right. right? And he wrote it in two. Yeah. So should we do that? A slow yeah. two. Okay. Wait, well, the very slow pianissimos. You can do it softer. I, I promise if you do this, <laughs> just touch it. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. And over the piano, there's a slur over the whole thing, which isn't in your power, but it's assumed that it is. Right. All right. And when you get to the 16s, make them a little start. Ihr bist this up. Otherwise, it's great. Once again, can you sing even softer as if you were in a complete daze?
Now that's a totally amazing thing. You stared at this picture and suddenly this beloved business, this came portrait, to yeah. came to life. <laughs> like that. And that's what the crescendo, the crescendo is your excitement. Yeah. Uh, this incredible right. moment. Right. The opening was beautiful. I still think boom, 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 16 exact. Okay. Right, one more time, so it isn't too slow, it's still in two. And one, two, one, two. Beautiful. Now, stop thinking about singing and get yourself into the state of your standing in a dark dream and you looking at this build, at this business. Right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Otherwise, everything was perfect. Now the mood. You've got to get two things, your love for the smile of this beautiful woman who you do, and the total amazement and eeriness that this is happening. Okay. That's a, two emotions there. Mm -hmm. You're amazed, you're dumbfounded, and you're in love. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Each time the piano comments on what you've just said, mm -hmm. right? the first time, she's in darkness, dark dream. The second time, she's expressing your amazement and your love for this woman who's come to life. Yeah. Right? It's beautiful. Should we do the second phrase? Sure. Und das, das geliebte our antlitz. That beautiful face suddenly began to live. Und das turn, that little turn, a little break in the voice. That's what that is, a break in the voice. Beautiful. And from those tears of sorrow glimmered in her eyes. She's smiling and at the same time through the smile come the tears on her face. 
Right. Amazing idea, and that sense of wonder should be there in your voice all the time. You're doing beautifully. Shall we do from Um Ihre Lippen? All pianissimo. Do you notice that this time there's no crescendo? This time it's, at, it's just about her, his falling tears. My tears fell down from my cheeks as well. And there's no hope anymore. And so his, it goes down and down and down and stays soft. <coughs> Bravo, would you do the uh, just before boom, boom? Bravo, he begins in pianissimo and he says, und ach, oh, oh, can you cry, can you shout in pianissimo? Uh, right? Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, ah, oh, I've lost her. I cannot believe I've lost her. So would you do the phrase before? Can you do oh, and, oh, oh, with so much feeling? You're literally shouting, but you can't get it out. Okay. Just do the chord. Und ach, ich kann es nicht glauben, dass ich dich Schubert, Schubert has a very special relationship between the voice and the singer. Sometimes the pianist does what the singer is unable to do. Right. And in this case, the last word is in the piano. That absolute anger and desperation and sadness is in the piano. Not You make a diminuendo, but she doesn't. Mm. All right, so we just do that last phrase. So you make a crescendo, and then from dich verloren, from the moment you go right down to nothing and then you you take it over and give everything you have right the last phrase can you do that with the diminuendo so it goes Und 
emotion you wanted to give and couldn't is yeah. in that piano. Bravo. Yeah, well that's, that's a song you haven't absorbed yet completely, but right. you're on yeah. the way. It's going to be great. It'll be great. I'd love to work with you some more. Would, do, should we just? I'm torn because we had, have. Very, we're just seeing the other one. Let's okay. see. And, and tell, it's a very similar story. It is actually yeah. by the same poet. Just quickly tell the story. Um, he meets this beautiful fisher girl, and the first song. And now. And so, um, in essence, I guess I. Not I guess. <laughs> it's hard. there's so many layers. It's hard yeah. to just like. Um, but this song is, uh, I'm singing about meeting this woman, and it's, and we're looking out into the sea, I'm um, Mea, and, um, and I may, uh, like, oh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> there's so much to it, um, but is it good news or bad news? It's, it's, I don't, I, th it's I think, it's I, I think it, it could be either way, depending on how you think of it. Um, only because the last sentence I'm saying, um, you know, I'm I, like, you know, I, well, earlier I say like I see I see her tears fall on her hand, and then I I drink them and they become my own. Um, and in and order to cons in order to console her. In order to console right. her. And and. Um, but ever since then, I've been consumed by them, and I've been, I've been poisoned by her tears. Right. And so how do you think it's ending up? I mean... Not too good. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this wretched woman has ruined my life, is what he says at the end. Yeah. Right. So it's not good news. They've broken up, and the, uh, the evening scene, yeah. the sun is going down, they're looking at the sun, going down and that's the end of the evening and also the end of their relationship right. always in Schubert the, right. the, the nature, nature and the human the experience right. so what's going on in nature is going on in their heart right. so this is an extremely sad song and, and a nihilistic one actually because he's been poisoned by this relationship wow it's shocking isn't it right. okay let's, let's hear it and, and we'll spend a minute on it and, oh, so beautiful That should actually give it away to you right there. I mean, listen to that. How sad can music get? Yeah. That's, it's a, it's, it's, that's the description of the end of their relationship. Isn't that amazing? Do it again.
There's no question. It's, it's the most heartbreaking song almost he ever wrote. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's in major so much of it and in, in, in that high tessitura is only the memory of their love, right. not the experience of it. Mm -hmm. And this fog rising, which is so beautifully de uh, described in the piano, the fog rising up. The first time, it's the fog gathered and the water swelled and a seagull flew back and forth. That's the experience in nature. Mm -hmm. In his own experience, since that moment, my body has died. My soul has, uh, stirbt, has died from the longing. My soul has died from the longing. This wretched woman has poisoned me with her tears of love. Heartbreaking, and, and that was beautiful. And this moment, when, when the piano goes, that's the moment we know it's absolutely hopeless. Should we just do the last phrase with the, the fog coming again and the crescendo up to the high F? That's such a despair from the second time. Or do even the passage just before Dina, the pianist, or three P's. Seit jede Stunde? Yeah, seit jede Stunde, jede Stunde. So just before, yeah. All right. It's very rare for Schubert to say three P's. Two P's, a huge amount. Three P's is very rare. So every time it's, this is something truly special. Mm -hmm. 
And remember that she, he has just gone down on his knees to drink her tears to console her. And this is the result. Seid in the Stunde, verzehrt sich mein Leib, die Seele stirbt vor Sinnen. Mich hat das Unheil. It's about the saddest C major chord that I know. <laughs> well done. You, you. Thank you. I want you to look around the people in the room and see how much you how much you reach them. You can see by looking at that. You have a great gift for that. Thank great you. gift. Your vocal production is that of an Italian opera singer. <laughs> and there's a sound which goes in German leader, which is a little different. You know that. Mm -hmm. And that hasn't become your main thing yet. Yeah. When it does, I think you're going to become a wonderful leader singer. Your German is terrific, which is great. Thank you. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I was born there. Oh, see that. Drum, drum. That's a case. Good. That's a case of drum. Yeah. You'll, you'll understand. My father lived in a town called Erfurt, a small town oh, in Germany. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know Erfurt. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just in Weimar. For the really, uh, right, there, February, right yeah. next door. Yeah, yep. he, he used to know Liszt's uh, housekeeper. Used to go and visit her and uh -huh. hear the story. Anyway, one day he told there was a lady who sat down on a bench. No, f first she didn't stand. She saw a black man sitting on the bench. And she was very surprised in Elford. Mm -hmm. And then eventually she sat down on the bench and sat there for a while. And then she bucked up her college courage and said, Sind nicht von hier. You're not, oh, you're not right. from around here. And he said, nein, Addis Ababa. And she said, drum. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. Beautiful. Well done. Great, thank you're you wonderful. So much. Come back. Yes, come back. Great. Come back. More. Great. Yeah. Beautiful. Great. <laughs> 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 <laughs>